Now this is the definition of a one punch, one shot example. Atlas is absolutely wrecking havoc in Steel Path content, deleting most things that even consider challenging his power and with little effort as well. Honestly, guys, I didn't think that in this year I would be having this much fun with Atlas yet. Well, here we are. As always, timestamps added beneath the video. Let's jump into his abilities real quick. Passive, a nice easy one to remember. Whilst being grounded, Atlas gains knockdown immunity, basically a prime sure footed mod for free. However, he can get knocked down whilst being airborne, so please go and keep that in mind. Atlas's first ability is Landslide. Now this is what we all know and love when it comes to Atlas, his bread and butter. Go full smash mode and one punch your way through enemies with a three step combo. Each punch adding to the combo will increase the next punch here and also reduce the cost of the ability each and every time. This combo resets after three successful chain hits. Now this ability is what we consider a pseudo exalted ability and I'll go into a little more detail on that in a bit but it's extremely important for you guys to understand what that actually means because this build and this video will be centered around this ability. Atlas's second ability will be subsumed out for this build for Calervo's Raffle Advance ability. So as of right now, his second isn't really in a great spot. It creates a small wall and it can knock into enemies and that's basically about a quick rundown of it. It's not really worth the investment setting up due to how lackluster it is. So we've removed that ability and brought in the Raffle Advance Subsumption. Now Raffle Advance can be activated in two ways. By tapping the ability whilst targeting an enemy, your Warframe, if with a melee weapon equipped will wind it up teleport to the enemy and deal a devastating heavy blow at that enemy. Now, if you don't have a melee weapon equipped, you'll just teleport to the enemy. Now, if you do hold down the ability, you can teleport to the selected designated place that you hover your reticle. So you don't actually need a target to go and do this hold active. Once any of these activations are done, you will gain a 200% final critical chance to your melee attacks as a buff for 10 seconds. Both the crit chance and the length of the ability can scale with both strength and duration. So keep this in mind because we're going to want both. Atlas's third ability is Petrify. When cast, Atlas petrifies all enemies caught within a cone in front of him. Any petrified enemies killed in any way will drop rubble when destroyed. Now Atlas can go ahead and run over that rubble, collect it, pick it up, in which will go ahead and heal him, but it will also give him additional armor benefits to increase his survivability. A rubble could be generated in quite a few different ways from his fourth, from his third, and from some augments, but if an enemy is also petrified, it can increase the damage dealt against against it with your first ability landslide. So I like to go and use Petrify in this build for crowd control and basically debuff the enemies and then go and smash them whilst also helping my survivability. And finally, Atlas's fourth ability is Rumblers. Atlas can summon two stone elementalists to aid you in your fights. In fairness, they are mostly used as a way to distract enemies helping your survival, but also when they die or if their duration runs out, they also go and drop rubble. Again, you can recast this ability over and over again if you're looking for a quicker way to build up your power passive it's going to help your armor for the survival but all in all these are just basically my distraction tools for the build so use them as you please right speaking of builds how about that build then no problem now we got a few builds going cover here so let's go and do this in order warframe first so the main thing's going to take away from this is his rubble heap augment for his first ability now this augment doubles his damage when he has over 1400 rubble armor but also makes his first ability cost literally no energy providing us with free cast to his killing ability this is kind of a no-brainer to fit in here Although some people argue that the 1400 can be hard to go and keep up. It's your choice, but I really do recommend it. Now from here, I'll keep it honest with you guys. As I've had this discussion with my community and a few other people, this is where the situations start coming in. Now, if you're looking for longer lasting buffs, self-explanatory, go for the duration increase. If you want to hit like an absolute monster and see, ooh, me go big number, me go yay, then go strength increases. And if you want quality of life for bigger and more general tile sets and areas, then go range increases. See, these values are something a lot of people won't agree on, so it's fine to me. Pick your poison and enjoy your own Build, but at least you can understand what you're doing when you take those routes. Outside of that, the build is up to your interpretation. But believe me, when it comes to the strength, the stat stick is more important for the landslide damage. He will absolutely destroy if you just go utility on your build and ignore strength anyways. Speaking of utility, here is where my companion comes in. So I did go and look into two companions with him. The more obvious calling was Adaza Kavat to increase his critical chance. Or, you know, look into things like combat discipline on the Arcane Avenger. You can do all of this. But I didn't really feel like 
it was as needed for the build. So this is where I decided to go and use Death Cube Prime for my utility, in which he'll go ahead and drop energy orbs and also the synth mods to pair for health orb drops on companion assists. This actually made it really nice to pair with the efficiency that I had in my build with Equilibrium, Prime Flow and Arcane Energize. So long as I keep my rubble above the 1400 armor passive, then I have one ability that requires no energy, but the others do. And one way or another, I'm going to need energy in this build because it's quite a spammy build. This is where I decided to go ahead and cover my energy issues. Up next, we got his stat stick weapon of choice. And now do keep in mind, this video isn't exactly about teaching stat sticks to you per se. If you know, you know, but if you don't, I will go and throw some text on the screen and give you a very quick, small, brief rundown of what's actually going on. So to put this as simple as possible to go and understand, there's only a few Warframes in the game that have something that we call pseudo exalted abilities. And that just basically means that the ability doesn't just scale off strength, but also damage mods within a particular category of weapons. In this case, Atlas can increase its landslide damage with melee damage mods because its landslide is a melee. Now, hopefully you can understand why we call it a stat stick. We aren't really looking to use the melee weapon, no, no. We just want to go ahead and get the weapon to hold mods, infuse it with those mods and let Atlas's fist scale with that damage. So there are quite a few different stat sticks to choose from, but for my build, I leaned into the Magistar in Cardin due to the 100% extra critical damage bonus that it receives. This really helps amps up that damage output and after some calculations it just made more sense going take that route next up operator this build is quite unique due to it benefiting massively off an operator arcane named magus aggress in which when transferring from your operator attacking with your melee input switching back over to your warframe it will give you a 300 critical damage increase to your heavy blades now what's actually important about that is that it works with pseudo exalted abilities without consuming charges ultimately this gives you a free 300 critical damage buff to your fists whether or not this will be changed in the future I have no idea, but it's a feature right now and it's been one that's been working for quite some time. So I don't think it's going to be changed. Whack it on your operator if you can. And as for the focus schools, personally, I think it's optional. Go Zenuric if you need to go and cover your energy or mostly go Madurai for things like sling strength. If you're looking for extra strength increases across your kit. And finally, we got those Archon shards. Now this is going to really boil down to like three things. Try and take some car speed because it will go and help. You'll be spamming an awful lot. So either two Ambers or one Talfor amber focus on the car speed will go and do the trick in my opinion from there well it's really up to ability strength or critical damage and honestly it's up to you i kind of prefer the ability strength over the critical damage but either way i'm sure there's some mid max in here and i'm not going to be the person to tell you to do it but uh, i like the ability strength Alrighty then how about those ability rotations so i think you want to be using this build mostly against the grenier or infested factions as the corpus with their nullifiers can cause a bit of an issue so try to avoid those as often as you can now when any Entering a mission, the first thing I want to go and do is either go and sort out my energy issues and build that up straight away, or sort out my survival issues and get the ball rolling. But from there, in a rough order, I start off with activating the raffle advance by holding the ability down and teleporting either towards an enemy or, and mostly, straight at my feet. Now, this procs the critical melee chance bonus that I'll be getting from it. From there, if I have the energy set up, I'll be using my petrify to turn enemies into stone then get landsliding and killing enemies whilst also building up and collecting my rubble to help my damage increase and energy efficiency. Once all of this is sorted, if I need the extra distraction tools, I'll go and cast my fourth rumblers and get those bad boys into the action, hopefully drawing some fire towards them instead of me. And please guys, it's to note that not only is your first ability a damage dealer, but it can also be your survival tool. See, whenever you're dashing and casting your landslide ability, you generate iframes. This basically means you're invincible to incoming damage during those frames of motion. So if you can, use this to get yourself out of trouble, but also use this to get yourself straight into trouble. Don't be afraid, try and be aggressive with it. It takes a bit of time working this in mind, but definitely have a mess around yourself and see how it feels for you. Reactions and awareness are key for this tip. So if I had to go and do a rough rating on the build for what it's doing and where it's doing it, I would personally give it a score somewhat like this. I think for the most part, if you're looking for something fun and unique that packs a tremendous amount of damage, then this is the build for you. Otherwise, it does have some weaknesses in some areas, but it's still my go-to build for Atlas that I would prefer to use in today. 
Overall, though, I do believe that this build is quite investment to go and get running, and I get that. In my opinion, I still believe I would like to go and see a tweak or a rework in Atlas to bring him more up to scratch. In some areas, he seems a little outdated and bland. And when you really look at everything bringing this build together, you'll realize just how much of it isn't actually Atlas himself. I mean, power-wise, definitely not Atlas himself. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed this build and interested to see where he goes from here onwards for future updates. So guys, that's about it from me. But if you did enjoy today's video, then please go and hit it with a cheeky like. And if it helped you, or if you know that it would help someone else, then share the video with a friend. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. What it do? Subscribe for future videos. But as always, I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video.